Oh, these were just laid. They're rolling around like crazy. Hey guys, Tish from Python Spawn. It's an exciting day. It's been months in the waiting. We've got eggs. Come on in. Okay, so I'm super, super excited. Let me grab a card. I've been waiting for this girl for forever. So she's my pastel. She's a double head desert ghost and um, caramel albino. Obviously, we're not going to use the caramel albino in this. Uh, her prelay shed, this is the weird part. This I thought her prelay shed was um, March 16th. So I I've been waiting for this girl to lay for about a month. I was like, okay, something's wrong. But um, turns out, I believe that she didn't even do a prelay shed. She just shed that the uh, in that March, March 16th, and then she went right into laying. So she did not give me another shed. So that was her pre-ovulation shed. So sometimes things like this happen. So it's uh, kind of weird, kind of a weird thing. Usually you're like, oh, it's like pre-ovulation pre shed, then the prelay shed, and then 30 days later you're going to get eggs. Sometimes it's not like that. This is the, th the second girl that this has happened to me too, so. All right, guys, so let's see how many. I'm excited. I've been, I've been literally opening up this bin for the past, I don't even know how long, maybe what, a month? <sighs> I don't even know how many eggs, nothing. Oh, let me move. There we go. Bye, big girl, you're gonna get me, aren't you? Are you gonna get me? Oh, sweetheart. She will get a little spicy then. Just make sure you know that. So yeah, and she was bred to... Oh, I forgot to say this. She was bred to my pastel calico desert ghost. So the sire to the last clutch. All right, let's get her. So I'm going to pull her out completely. Hi, big girl. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We gotta just check you. It's okay. Come on. Let's move that out the way. Good girl. All right. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, I know, sweetheart. I know. You don't want to give me your babies. I know. Oh, these were just laid. They're rolling around like crazy. Oh, it's okay, baby girl. It's okay. So let me just grab her real quick. So what I do usually, I have a bin. Move these down. I have a bin that fits perfectly in there until I am ready. But I just want to make sure that she got all of her eggs out. So. Come here, girl. It's okay. It's okay. Come here. She's a pretty big girl. So, just want to make sure she has nothing left in there. And looks like she's empty. Well, huh. no, don't go under there, you crazy girl. Don't go under there. her real quick all right all right come on there baby girl she is after she lays she's still 18 stay 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 she's still 1869 okay 1869 go right in there write that down post weight is 1869 so we have three six seven seven eggs and zero slugs 
seven eggs, zero slugs, and today is the 24th, so five, 24, uh, 22. And now I'm gonna weigh the eggs. So they did roll around because she, uh, she got um, a little feisty. Hopefully they're all good. They look good. Just gotta double check. There we go. So. 5.92. They're a little bit small. But that shouldn't affect anything. All right. Let's put that bin right there. Let me grab this. All right, my favorite part. She's gonna get a full tub clean out, so. The next thing we do, we're gonna put her in incubator one. So this is the Sire, the Pastel Calico Desert Ghost. So we are gonna have visuals. Half the clutch, in theory, should have visuals. Sorry guys, we had to uh, adjust. We didn't get a good angle. So before we keep going, just wanted to let you guys know that we are going to candle the eggs. So as you guys can see, it's not where it's at. Hmm. So this doesn't have really strong veins, so that worries me a little bit. So that, that is, there it is. So there's the embryo. Perfect, it's right there. I'm just gonna mark the top. This is not a really good one either. It's weak veins, really weak veins. It doesn't even look like it's fertilized very well at all. Very weak veins on this one. It's primarily yellow, see? So that sucks, but we're still gonna incubate it because I see an embryo there. So that's what we're gonna do. It's not good eggs. separate that one. There's the next one. Um, same thing. Well, that's not good. Well, that sucks, guys. I think these don't look good at all. They all have pretty weak veins. This might have been... Maybe she kept them in too long? But that's up. There's the embryo there. veins. <sighs> that's, that's disappointing. Wow, that is so weird. That is really weird, guys. I've never seen this many with weak veins. So there's the embryo there. Alright, and there's a really good embryo with really good veins there. All right, turn, turn the light back on. So multiple animals, but multiple of these had really weak veins, unfortunately. So we're gonna see what's gonna actually go through incubation. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna put weak veins. Last thing I do, close it up, tape it up, All right. and we're ready for the incubator. Okay guys, that's it. So that's my egg cutting. I'm a little disappointed. There's no uh, veins and a lot, well, there are veins that are just very weak. So hopefully, fingers crossed, um, everything turns out well and they, they actually go through the whole incubation no problem so thank you guys for joining don't forget to like share subscribe comment below hit the notification bell maybe even the join button and i'll see you guys next wednesday
Can you like, out? No, you're not gonna get out? Out, excuse me, excuse me ma'am. I'm gonna need you to, uh, out, 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 thank you. Out, 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 go join your sister. Thank you. <laughs> Chickens, crazy.